Hi everyone, this reading is for the sign of Gemini. So if you have any Gemini placements in your chart, this reading is for you. Whether Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, wherever that placement may be, maybe this reading is for you. Um, if you happen to be a cross watcher, there may be a message here for you. Again, this is for the month of August through the month of September. And this is for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, your overall energy is you reminiscing. You're reminiscing about a past situation. You're reminiscing about something that didn't work out the way you hoped it to work out. Um, I feel like this has to do with a relationship, okay? Because I get a lot of cup, cups energy here. A lot of trying to balance the situation and not finding the balance you're looking for, okay? I get the um, Ace of Cups in reverse. So this past energy didn't work out the way you helped you hoped it to work out uh when it first started it seemed like something hopeful something great but eventually it turned out to something that didn't work out it just didn't work out okay we'll just leave it at that it didn't work out at the moment and this has to deal with a past energy i feel like someone walked away with something someone wasn't being honest someone wasn't being truthful whether it be you or the other party, it seems more like the other party maybe wasn't being as truthful, wasn't being clear about their intentions and their emotions. Um, this is someone trying to get away with something, okay? Then we have the Five of Cups. This is you walking away or walking on and not seeing the two cups that are standing, but you're walking away. Maybe in this situation, there was things that didn't work out, but there was also things that maybe... Uh, they provide you with some happiness and this is you just walking away from it all you're just walking away from it all and recollecting yourself okay okay there are two cups standing so the situation isn't um whatever's going on in your life it's not going to leave you at a dead standstill you're going to be moving away okay and you're going to find balance somehow okay you got two cups standing there that's balance coming in all right then we got temperance. Temperance is coming in to let you know to give things time. Give things time. Um, give yourself time. Time to balance things out. Time to balance yourself out after you went through this situation or the separation or feeling like someone didn't do things the way you hoped they would, would have been done or feeling like someone wasn't being honest or open, whether it be you or the other person. I feel like it's more like the other person and you're looking for balance. I see temperance. I see a lot of cards of balance. Almost feeling like the situation wasn't balanced for you. And that's what you're looking for now. Okay. Then I see the three of wands. The three of wands to me means like you're looking to, you're turning your back from the situation and you're looking forward to something else. You're looking and you're moving away and you're choosing this rod here. This um, wand here more like it. So you're moving away and making a choice to choose something else. And you're wanting something that's going to bring balance and happiness to you. And you want that balance back in your life, okay? You want to feel that this is going to bring you some type of, um, it's whatever situation you go into in the future, you want it to reciprocate. You want to feel balanced. And you want to make sure it's a choice that you feel comfortable with, okay? So you are moving away from this difficult situation. You are moving away and grounding yourself and finding yourself and knowing which direction you want to go. And you're no longer going to hold on to it and you're going to, you're going to move forward and you're going to look for balance in everything that you do or with whoever you decide to combine with, okay? Or whoever you decide to join in or whoever's in your life has to bring some balance, okay? Um, in your fairy cards, we get the number 34. This has to do with two people, two persons going separate ways. As you can see, the fishes are, are going separate ways. It is okay. Sometimes we meet up into situations where things don't work out and each individual goes their own separate ways. It feels like you were in the dark about a lot of things in this situation. You weren't clear. You weren't concise. Or maybe the other party wasn't clear and concise and things were not clear. There was a lot um, going on in the background that you had no clue about or maybe um, emotions and feelings that you had and, you know, you... You didn't understand or you didn't know about whether it be from you or the other person, Okay. Then we got nine. Nine is in the reverse. This is not getting what you hoped for. Um, and that's okay. Sometimes we don't get what we hope for because the universe wants something else better for us that's going to balance us out. Okay. Then we got 16. And this is you looking up in the stars and looking in another direction and maybe deciding to connect with the universe and move on. Um, even though things were rough, you're taking the time for yourself and taking your time to decide that I'm getting out of this routine. I'm getting out of this rut. Where I feel unbalanced and I'm going into a balanced situation or I'm going to attract those things that 
are mutual to my energy, okay? That can balance me out as well as I balance them out, okay? So this is you moving forward, looking to the stars, connecting to universe, and really finding yourself and deciding to move forward from a situation that was unclear and unbalanced, and each of you had to go your own different ways, okay? Then we have 21. Although you heading in a new direction, you might feel a little heavy. You might feel, feel the burden. You might feel like there's so many struggles, but you're making a choice to move on. And this choice is going to lead you into a different space, a different time of things. Um, at first, it may seem rough and it may be difficult from what Spirit is telling me, but you're going to find the balance that you need. Okay. So this was your overall energy for the month of August through September. I'm going to quickly get some oracle cards for you, some spiritual messages. All right, so let me just shuffle this once, get a card for you from here, and then we'll get one card word messages from Spirit. One card message for the sign of Gemini. Give me a one card message for the sign of Gemini for the month of August to September. One card message, please. One card message, please. Okay, here we go. We got one card. It says, vulnerability. It says, this is confirmation that you're seeking to trend into the unknown, unfamiliar territory. Where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So vulnerability is okay to feel vulnerable and it's okay um, to sometimes feel uncomfortable, especially in the directions that we choose. But eventually you will find your footing. Okay. Um, we're going to get one more message. Um, for, um, the messages from the light, we'll get a card from there. Let's get one more messages from the message of the light. we got two messages we're going to pick them both up it says listening and gratitude let's see what those messages mean let's start with listening because it's the first one that i saw it says as you, are you truly hearing the universe it's trying to tell you something turn toward the turn toward what catches your ear that is enough take the first step attunement will follow so listening to your intuition, intuition, listening to what's going on, um, really paying attention to what's happening around you so you can make a decision, okay? Um, next card is gratitude. Let's read what gratitude means. Gratitude says that anything, that anything at all exists is a miracle, okay? Everything is a miracle. Be thankful for each breath, each sensation. Gratitude is the first step toward, not the consequence of, receiving. So gratitude is the first step toward to receiving everything that you want, okay? And being grateful in the moment and living in the moment, okay, Gemini? This is your messages for the month of August. I hope it resonated with you. Um, thanks for listening. Have a great month of August to the beginning of September. Thanks. Bye-bye.